Hi, my name is Susanna, and in this video I'll be introducing Automatic Filters and Feature Selection, or AFS for short. AFS is a new feature added to the Machine Learning Core Configuration tool in MEM Studio. Training a decision tree can be quite complex, especially when it comes to analyzing input data and extracting the relevant information. That's where AFS comes in. This tool helps you identify significant information for decision tree training by analyzing your data. It makes the training process more efficient by generating relevant features, filters, and window length from a given labeled dataset. Best of all, everything is done through a graphical user interface. No coding required. Let's dive in and I'll show you how it works. I'll demonstrate AutoML feature in MemStudio for the machine learning core, which allows for automatic filters and feature selection. For this demonstration, I will use an activity recognition example. Prior to this video, I have prepared dataset for three activities. Biceps curls, boxing, and no activity, all captured using the LSM6 DSV16 Next sensor inside the sensor tile.box pro. Now, let's open MemStudio application, connect sensor tile.box pro to the application, and navigate to the advanced feature section, where we can access the machine learning core. While it's not necessary to connect any board to the application, having it connected will be handy for demonstrating live classification at the end of our tutorial. First, select a workspace to work in and choose the LSM6 DSV16 X sensor. Load all datasets for each activity. We will start by adding the datasets for no activity and labeling them as no underscore activity. Next, we'll upload the data for biceps curls and label it biceps underscore curls. Finally, we'll upload the boxing data and label it boxing. Next, we will move to the AFS tool tab. Here, We'll set the machine learning core ODR to 60 Hz and let AFS calculate the window length for us. So we won't change the default value now. We'll also set the accelerometer to 4G full scale and 60 Hz and the gyroscope to 2000 dps and 60 Hz. Always remember to select the same full scale and ODR as you used for data acquisition. On the right side of the window, we can find the AFS section. Here, we can select which parameters we want the tool to calculate for us. If needed, we can access the expert mode parameters, which allow us to choose the ensemble methods, mode, and the maximum number of features. For this example, we'll keep the default settings and click Run to start the data log analysis. Once the analysis is complete, we'll see the calculated window length, filters and features on the left side. Select the result you want to apply and click Apply to Settings. In the RFFF Generation tab, we can review all the applied parameters, such as sensor configuration, filters and features to be used. We can modify them if needed and generate the RFFF file. Attribute Relation File Format, RFFF for short, is a file format used for storing data in machine learning applications. It contains a list of instances where each instance represents a single window process by the MLC. In the Decision Tree Generation tab, you can train and generate the decision tree simply by clicking Generate Decision Tree button. At the end of this process, we'll see the statistics of the decision tree's performance. Output values for the decision tree results can be set in the UCF Generation tab. In this example, we selected 0 for no activity, 4 for bicep scrolls and 8 for boxing. To run the decision tree on the sensor, convert it into a sensor configuration, with the Generate Config File button and load it into the sensor with the Load Config into Sensor button. Finally, 
The live classification of activities is visualized under decision tree output. In the graph, we can see the output value of the decision tree corresponding to one of selected classes. And there you have it. Automatic filters and feature selection can significantly improve your data analysis and decision tree training by selecting relevant features, filters, and window size. This feature can provide expert users with a functional solution which they can further improve based on their practical knowledge of end-user application. Want to try it yourself? Visit st.com memstudio to learn how to get started. And I'll see you in the next one.